Welcome to a lesson on the parallel line postulate. The goals of the video are to state the parallel line postulate and then to construct a parallel line through a point not on a line. So the parallel line postulate states that for a line and a point not on the line, there's exactly one line parallel to the given line through the point. So if here's our given line and here's the point, there's only one parallel line passing through this point, it would be this blue line here. Any other line passing through this point would eventually intersect this black line. Let's go through the procedure for constructing this parallel line through a point not on the line. So what we'll need is a protractor pictured here and a straight edge. If we're given this line and this point, the first thing we'll do is sketch this black line here that intersects the given line and passes through the given point. So now we have two intersecting lines with a point of intersection and the original point here. Now what we're going to do is take the point of the protractor and put it right here on the intersection of the two lines and make sure that it opens so that the pencil of the protractor does not extend past our given point. What we're going to do now is swing an arc that intersects these two lines that would look something like this. And now we'll take the point of the protractor and put it on this point without adjusting the protractor and swing another arc that intersects this line here and extends down toward the given line, something like this. Let's go ahead and mark where the arcs intersect the line that we drew here. So we'll put a point here and we'll put a point here. Now we're going to take the protractor, put the point of the protractor here on this red point, and then put the pencil of the protractor right here at the intersection of this green arc and the black line. Once we have this length marked with our protractor, we're going to swing another arc that intersects the given line, something like this, and then take the point of the protractor and then put it on the other point of intersection with this green arc here and swing an arc that intersects the green arc, something like this. And now we'll construct a line that passes through, and now we'll construct a line that passes through this point here and the intersection of these two arcs. And this will be the line that's parallel to the given line and passes through the given point. So once again, this was the given line, this was the given point, and this is the parallel line that we constructed. So if you're wondering why this construction actually worked, remember that the corresponding angles of two parallel lines cut by a transversal are congruent. So by sketching this line here, we were able to copy this angle up here and therefore making the corresponding angles congruent making the two lines parallel. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.